Hello guys and welcome, it is that SW2 dude here today bringing you yet another video for today because honestly I just kind of want to talk, I just want to let you guys know uh, some of my thoughts because I've been having feelings that with the Splatoon series in general that it is very likely uh, that we will be getting a Splatoon 3 much sooner than we might think. Like, a lot of people have debated that if there's going to be a Splatoon 3 after Splatoon 2, then it's possibly gonna come out six years later, or five years later, or seven, or ten. It's just, or basically when the new Nintendo console comes out and all that type of jazz. And I just kind of want to talk about this because personally, I don't think it's going to come out way later just due to all the things that are happening right now and uh, how the Splatoon devs have kind of teased us on Twitter and of course the rumored Switch Pro and all that type of stuff. I just kind of want to get my thoughts out there. So let's get into it. So starting off with the Splatoon devs, like first of all, on around Christmas day, I think, or Christmas Eve, I can't exactly remember the date, but basically they sent out this picture uh, just to talk about, hey, we have all the Splatoon characters here, but where's Marina? Now, Marina being one of the main Splatoon characters you see in Splatoon 2, they basically went to go on and say that she possibly be, might be missing. And basically, the Splatoon community and Twitter just kind of blew up over this, like, saying, oh, there might be another Splatoon game coming uh, very soon because of that. It might be a Splatoon 3, and it has to do something with Marina being gone. Now, why I'm saying this is because in Splatoon 1, around that, when Splatoon 2 was not a thing, uh, they did the exact same thing. Basically, Callie had become missing. And she had basically become missing for a long period of time. So what the Splatoon devs are kind of doing is that they're poking fun at that because a little after later, they had found Marina and it was just a silly thing where she was just taking pictures and all that nonsense and all that sort of stuff. So basically what they're saying is that the new game is possibly not going to be revolved around Marina or basically any of the Squid Sisters. But, of course, a little bit after later, they send another picture. It's the Happy New Year picture. Now, I have made a video explaining what I think what this might mean uh, in case you didn't know. In this very picture, there is basically a secret slash hidden message within the waves of the picture, which is saying, save our salmon. What this is kind of insinuating, there is some sort of trouble going between the salmon, salmonids, whatever you want to call it. And basically, Mr. Grizz, the owner of Grizzco Corporation, has something to do with it. Now, I made an entire video about this and talking about uh, some theories and all that type of stuff of what I think might happen uh, around in this. So if you want to go ahead and watch that, you can see that in the link description below. But basically to talk a little bit more about this picture, the Splatoon devs intentionally put this. For someone that just, you know, kind of scrolls through Twitter, they really would not see that at first glance because it is very well hidden within the waves. And that's basically an Easter egg or whatever to tell us that something is possibly coming, especially with how this picture is laid out in general, because you do see Mr. Grizz in the back, just in the dark, just kind of makes you think, hmm, something might be happening with this Platoon series. And I don't think it's DLC because all the things in the past have said that there's no more content going after this point. Although, you know, they have lied, of course, because at one point in time, they then just released a bunch of new weapons when they said content was stopping, but... I mean, I don't know. I don't think there's any more content coming to Splatoon 2, so, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really make any sense. So, that's basically everything to do with the Splatoon side of things, of why you may think that a Splatoon 3 is coming. Now, to move on from the Splatoon stuff, the next thing that I want to talk about is the rumored Switch Pro that possibly might be coming uh, within 2020, which is a lot sooner than all of us would have thought. There's been loads of, like, articles from insiders talking about they're going to be starting production of this particular product uh, within the first quarter of 2020 so this is something to really keep in mind because if they're going to be going into mass production of this it's very likely that we're going to see something pretty cool at E3. My fingers are crossed on this and honestly I think it's a very likely thing that we will be getting a Nintendo Switch Pro for two reasons. One is Breath of the Wild. They have talked about stuff about Breath of the Wild 2 in particular has started production. And I just don't think that they would release a second Breath of the Wild game on the same hardware that the Switch already has because Breath of the Wild ran in 1080p 30 frames per second. Now, if it was a thing where we had a Switch Pro and that thing ran in 60 frames 1080p, that would be sick. Honestly, I think that's the next move 
for Nintendo. They've also kind of rumored about this Switch Pro that it's going to possibly be released alongside a system selling game. What do you know? The first game was the system selling game for the Nintendo Switch. Now, what if they did the exact same thing for the Nintendo Switch Pro? Also releasing Breath of the Wild 2. From the trailers of the Breath of the Wild teaser, it seemed that that game was also well into production. So we don't exactly know how long uh, the Breath of the Wild devs have actually been working on it. So maybe we could expect that this game in particular might even release in 2020 or maybe closer to around full of 2020. Who knows really? The second thing for why, uh, just talking about the Switch Pro and that it's possibly going to be a likely thing, is to talk about a particular thing about the Nintendo Switch in general. There was basically a Nintendo Switch update. Uh, I can't exactly remember the, the number of it. I mean, I don't think the number is, was really, really matters. But it's basically a thing where you have a Nintendo Switch and you can transfer all your saved data from one Switch to another. Now, you gotta really think, what is this really for? It's not for someone to transfer their already portable Nintendo Switch that can be docked to a Nintendo Switch Lite. No one is actually going to do that. You're not even going to use it for one Nintendo Switch to another because that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, there's possibly some very niche scenarios for where you might want that feature. So it kind of makes you think, who is this feature really for? And when you really think about it, it's just like, all right, you have the regular Nintendo Switch. What if there was a stronger Nintendo Switch, but you already have the old one, but you want to put all your, you know, data from one Switch to the other one? Which kind of makes you think that maybe it's for the regular Nintendo Switch to the upgraded Nintendo Switch. In cases like that, it just makes perfect sense. And this really makes me believe that a Nintendo Switch Pro is definitely coming on the horizon. And I guess there's one more thing to really talk about the Nintendo Switch is that this console in general is selling extremely well. It's been the best selling console for a couple of years or for basically when it's been out. Everybody wants a Nintendo Switch. It's still selling crazily right now. And from the numbers and money uh, Nintendo's actually making just cause of that, it doesn't really make much sense for Nintendo to be thinking about a completely new console uh, that's different from the Switch. I mean, what would be the point? Like you have your portable games and your, you know, your TV games all in one system. So as well as the Nintendo Switch is selling, they're possibly just going to want to stay with it for a long time. And I think they've there's, there's been things where they have said that they're possibly going to stay with it for like eight or 10 years or wh however long. That's a long period of time to stay with one console. So what they're going to have to do is continue to make it fresh. So that's where the Nintendo Switch Pro comes along where if they have a much more powerful system that can basically run all the same games that they currently have and then add new games that will take advantage or just run better in general for all previous games and games coming in the future, then I think that's a huge win. And of course, just to talk about that, if Nintendo do stay uh, with the Nintendo Switch like console line, then with all their IPs that they already have, that they've released, they're going to have to do new ones. And as we already know, of course, we have Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2. Like, we've kind of seen a trend with Nintendo's IPs before that they usually release their games always on a new console. Like, you've seen it with the 3D Mario games, Mario Kart, uh, Star Fox, and a few others. I mean, it's not with every single IP, so don't get me wrong there. So with some of their main IPs, it kind of tends to happen. And you can honestly see it a little bit with how the Splatoon series was as well. I mean, Splatoon has only had two games, but you've had Splatoon on the Wii U, then you moved on to the Nintendo Switch. Now you kind of think, oh, Splatoon, it's a solely a multiplayer game. What would be the point to release a new Splatoon game on the exact same hardware. And that's also when the Nintendo Switch Pro comes again. Since there is new hardware, it's definitely more likely that Splatoon 3 would be something that will go alongside with Nintendo Switch Pro. There have definitely been some problems with Splatoon 2 in general, where running it on the Nintendo Switch, I mean, there are some levels that actually lag like New Albacore Hotel. I mean, that level for whatever reason, it drops frames. And the horrendous input like that we also have with Splatoon 2, it's like disgustingly bad. So if it was a thing where they were going to release a Splatoon 3, doubt they'll do it on the same Nintendo Switch. They would have to do it 
on a new upcoming switch that kind of removes most of those problems where it doesn't lag, all frames are saved, and there's basically little to no input lag because, I mean, the input lag is kind of due to the Nintendo Switch in general. So it's just kind of little things like that and all the rumors that we have heard of kind of makes me believe that maybe Splatoon 3 might be coming. When you put all of this information together, it's just like, it kind of makes you think. And also just one last thing, just to kind of address that if there was going to be a Splatoon 3, uh, you know, it's going to come after like five years after Splatoon 2. No. First, why that's not correct is mainly because when Splatoon was made, uh, production for Splatoon 2 had already started, just in case you didn't know that. You may also think that mainly because, hey, the Nintendo Switch was actually something coming soon. Okay, I can give you a little bit of leeway there. But again, I mean, you don't exactly know the developers in general. With the Splatoon 2, there's honestly no more content they can really add. Like, other than the balance patches that we're receiving, I mean, the, I believe the next one uh, is in April and it's not additional content. It's just basically fixing Splatoon 2 in general. So honestly, I don't think it's unlikely to happen soon. The Splatoon 2 devs are actually the same sort of developers for Animal Crossing as well. That game comes out in March. I'm pretty sure they finished with that game. So, you know, if they really want to continue making some stuff, I feel like Splatoon 3 might be that next game that they want to go ahead and make. I wouldn't be surprised if April, that's the final balance patch. I feel like after that, honestly, they might even do even more teasers and stuff like that before we actually get some sort of actual announcement over it. You can kind of just see the stars aligning here. Like there's just kind of things that make sense. So personally, if you were to ask me when a Splatoon 3 might be coming out, how it's Splatoon's track record has been so far, they usually release their game in summer. Now, maybe I'm being extremely keen, but what if Splatoon 3 is their system selling game for the Switch Pro? Would be cool, but personally, I think that might be too close. But you never know, it could happen, who knows? The developers don't exactly tell you when they start developing the game. If it's not 2020 of this summer, then personally, I think maybe 2021. I mean, I think 2021 by the latest at this point. Especially if they're working on the same Switch hardware and basically just make the game a little bit, you know, better, run smoother, add different kinds of things too. Like, I don't think it's an unlikely thing that it might come very close, like either this year or next year. So that is just basically my thoughts. I'm open to hearing everyone else's thoughts. Uh, this is just kind of a few of what I've kind of picked up from all the rumors and all the stuff that's also been coming up. I feel like we're possibly going to get some more teasers and all that type of stuff through the Splatoon JP, so definitely keep an eye on that. Honest to God, this year for 2020, especially for Nintendo and just gaming in general, it's gonna be a sick year, so... You know, that is just my talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please slap it with a like. It would be really appreciated. And please, let just in the comments, just let me know what your thoughts are. I don't want any hostilities or anything like that. Just, you know, nice conversation and just to get excited. Like, because personally, I feel like it's not unlikely thing that might happen soon. So let me know what you think. All that type of stuff. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you being generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button to let you guys know whenever I do upload a video. And also consider joining my public Discord where you can go ahead and talk to myself and the Dude Society community. So I hope you guys enjoy and I shall see you guys in a future video.